Well, salutations, kindred spirit. Greetings. Hey, welcome back to my corner of the magic universe for another learning experience. And if you are new to this channel, my name is Douglas Khan. You can call me Doug. I've been a practicing performing magician for the better part of 40 years. This space is where I document that knowledge. And on today's to-do list, we have this. Well, we had we had card trick tutorial. And boy, I got a good one for you, but it's gonna wait till next week as I have some more important information to share today. Some information that will maybe make you an artist as I offer 10 tips, 10 life lessons on how to be a con artist. I've heard you ask, I've listened. You wanna know what it takes to be like me? Well, we're gonna try and sum up that 40 years of experience in about 10 minutes today. And let's get started with uh, tip number 10 find your niche yeah, you got to find something that you love to do you can't just fake it you got to really love it and you want to niche it down a little bit like this i like magic i want to be a magician that's good but what's better is this i want to be a sleight of hand street performer you see what i'm saying there i i found a focus i niched it down and really following the lessons of die vernon through paul harris and other great artists it's this Find something you love and then do one thing better than anyone else. So find what you love, follow it with the passion, with the fire of the sun, and then niche it down to one thing you do better than anyone else and you'll be off to a good start. All right, so you know what you wanna do. You have your purpose, you have your passion. Now you'll need to be adventurous. Yep, that's right. To do great things, you have to do them. You know, you're going to have to get up the key, get off the keister, go make some things happen. You know, I'm reflecting right now back to when I was 18 years old and I got on a Greyhound bus with 30 bucks in my pocket, left my hometown of Cincinnati to Chi-Town, Chicago to become a street performer. Didn't know how I was going to make it happen, but I was adventurous. And I do believe it is that adventurous spirit that will take you where you want to be. And yes, it will be scary. And yes, it will be hard. And yes, you will be rewarded. Now to pursue that passion, to map your adventure, you're gonna need a knowledge base. And for that, I suggest tip number three, read a lot. Yeah, read some books. I read my first magic book when I was nine years old. Thank you, Bill Tarr. Read over a thousand in the interim. I think I'm pretty well qualified to say these are the best value, the best bang for your buck for a developing student. You can learn more from a book, interpret it your own way, and that's tip number three. Read. Now, while we're on the subject the books, I'm going to read a little bit from this one. What is this? Tricks of my trade, the magic of Doug Kahn. This was penned by kindred spirit Paul Cummins. Rest in peace, my friend. In the early 2000s, we released this book, and within this book is Doug's theory section. I, I quote verbatim for tip number four, Doug's theory. I hate to leave without a bit of theory on presentation, audience management, routining, and so forth something I always enjoy when reading the magic book. So I've constructed a short essay on what I think works. I hope it's not too wordy. Doug's theory section, tip number four. Be nice, be interesting, and be amazing. It's tip number four, Doug's theory. I do understand the printed page is not for every student. It is a challenging way to learn. Fortunately, we have other options and video learning is a great one. When I was a kid, it was VHS. There are a numerous amount of DVDs and downloads, lectures, video resources from the major magic companies. What I'm gonna suggest when you go this way is to look for something that's been released for, from a professional, for someone that performs for real people for a living. It's in these teachings that you can learn some, really the real work that goes into making magic powerful. But also if you're looking for some routines to add to your repertoire, you'll find things that are commercially successful. So that's my advice on video. Go get it. So yeah, a good library with a nice catalog of books and videos will provide an invaluable resource on your journey, but perhaps the best way to learn, the best way is this. Find a mentor. 
Yeah, find someone that's been doing what you want to do for a good three or four decades, you know, and then go sit next to that guy for a couple of five years. You want to be a cardition? Go find a card man. You want to be a wand guy? You know, find a wandster. <laughs> you get the idea? Find a mentor. Thank me later. All right, so you've read some books, you got some video knowledge, maybe you're heeding the advice of your mentors. Now it's time to follow the first three rules of magic. Uh, rule number one is to practice. And then rule number two is to practice. Rule number three, you got it, practice. Now I'm gonna expound on those three rules momentarily. To sum it up, yo, if you're sitting on the couch playing video games or watching TV for three hours a day, you're not on the right path. You're going to want to put the time in. Practice. Practice your mechanics. I suggest this. Rehearse. Practice. Rehearse your routines. Maybe put three tricks together. Rehearse them in sets of three. And then dress rehearse the full show. Put on your magician clothes. Fill your pockets with the material you're going to use. Treat it like a real world performance. Practice. Rehearse. Dress rehearse. Tip number seven. All right, so the fire is lit, the passion is burning, you're on an adventure with a strong knowledge base and you practice real hard. What's next? Perform. Do your thing as often as you can. You wanna be a good singer? Sing a bunch. You wanna be a good juggler? Juggle a lot. You wanna be a good magician? Magish every chance you can. That's it in a nutshell, perform. All right, now tip number nine is closely related to the last, and that is this. When you perform, do so with a unique point of view. Don't be a copycat. Don't mimic someone else. Find some way to express what Doug would do. If you can do that, well, now you're on the road to greatness. And hey, last but certainly not least, tip number 10 is this, be consistent, stay persistent. Your job, show up every day. Read your books, study your videos, learn from your mentors, practice real hard, perform every chance you get and do so with a unique point of view. These are your 10 tips, your advice from a con man. I hope it sits well in your gray matter. And for those of you that were hoping for the card trick, I'll see you next week.